Hello everyone, welcome to Mary's Creative Decor. If you're a subscriber, I want to thank you for watching. And if this is your first time stopping by, make sure you become a part of the Creative Decor family. Hit the subscribe button and keep watching. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is the things that we'll be using for today's project. I'll be making a large wall hanging Chanel logo. Now I purchased two poster boards and these face fillers from Amazon. I have here some epoxy premixed glue and a ruler. So I don't want to waste time. The first thing I want to do is figure out the size of my logos. So I have this glass ring, which measures about 22 inches round. So I want to place that on the board to make my outer circle. I have a marker and I'm going to take the marker and trace out the outer circle circle for my C. For my inner circle, I'll be using this lampshade. Now to make sure that it's even, I'm gonna use my ruler and measure it. I want it to be three inches from the outer circle so that the circle will have a three inch middle. So I'm measuring it and I'm gonna start marketing on the back so that I can make sure that my sides are even and I'll trace out the inner circle. Then I'll use my X-Acto knife to cut out the circles. Now that I have the circle cut out, I'm going to the picture of the logo to make sure that I have my ends cut correctly. And here's a look at what my seeds look like. The next thing I want to do is pull out my Rust-Oleum metallic paint and I want to paint the C's in this silver paint. Um, I decided to do this because I don't want any black to show through. This is going to be silver. The paint is dry. Now I want to begin with my vase fillers. I want to apply them to the letter C. I'm going to use my pre-mix epoxy. I'll just squeeze some on, use a popsicle stick to spread it out. Because of the way I'm applying the stones, I'm applying the diamond side face up, the pointed side down. I'm using about 10 stones per row. So I ordered three containers of the face fillers. So I'm hoping I have enough for the project. All the stones have been added to my first C. 
The second C has been painted except the area where my two pieces will cross over. I pulled out my E6000 and my hot glue gun and now we are ready to attach the two C's. Now I'm ready to add stones to my second C. This time I'm doing the flat side down, having the point going upward. This will give each letter C a different visual effect. To reinforce and strengthen the foam board, I cut out four C's. I glued two of them together and I will place it on the back side of my wall hanging. I use Elmer's school glue to glue the two pieces of cardboard together. The Elmer's school glue when it dries will give it a harder surface. I'll let the glue dry before I attach it to my hanging. I let the cardboard dry now I want to do a dry fit to make sure that everything fit. On the second piece, I cut it into three different pieces because I didn't want the cardboard to overlap. I add my Elmer School Glue. I add a little hot glue for fast adhesion. I'll place heavy books on top to make sure that everything is secure. I decided to add fairy lights to my Chanel logo. So what I'm doing is stringing in my fairy lights. I'm using my hot glue gun to just put a dab of glue on the wire to hold it in place. I use E6000 and hot glue to glue the battery pack to the center. I also glue down the wires with my hot glue gun. To cover up the raw edges, I have some bling wrap and I'm using four rows of it to cover up the edges. I'll start by gluing it to the outer edge and then I'll fold the balance around the back side. I use two tower blocks on the side to hold my picture hanger. This will make it the same depth as the battery.
To ensure my stones stay on, I got this epoxy mix. I did purchase this from Amazon. I mixed it according um, to the directions, half and half. I stirred it for seven minutes and I want to apply it to my logo. I want to do this to make sure that my stones will stay in place. When adding my epoxy, I don't want to add so much epoxy that is spilling over. I just want to add enough to cover the stones and have it level out and fill those empty spaces so my stones don't fall out. I'm going to continue doing so and we'll come back for the next step. Now it's time to add the picture hanger. It came with these nails, but the nails are a little long. So rather than using the nails, I'm going to use uh, some glue. I'll use my E6000, glue them along with a little hot glue. I'll get my cooks added on and we'll come back for the reveal. I think my Chanel logo turned out absolutely beautiful. Now that it's hanging, you can see that I have some of the stones turned up and some of the stones turned down, and it gives it great dimension. Also, this is in the evening light. You can see where the lights are on and shining against the wallpaper. Now I did this logo for a lady at my church. She asked if I can make the logo to match the table that she has in her living room. And I think she might like it, but you let me know. What do you think? So if you're out there watching and you've enjoyed this video and its content, it's time to hit the subscribe button. And don't forget the notification bell so you'll know when I upload new videos. If you're interested in trying this for yourself, I will leave a link to all the things used in this tutorial in the description box below. I want to say thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. God bless. And I'll see you in my next video.